Well, hello there, my lovely associate. Welcome to my channel. For uh, for those of you who know me, a uh, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, <coughs> my name is Martin Luclevion. I'm a witch psychic, healer, tarotist, star seeds, um, uh, sorry, a star seeds medium, and also a divine twin flame on the path on ascension. And also, I'm a witch if I I haven't said that. So, as you can see by the title of this video, this is all about Twin Flames, the Divine Masculine, the Divine Feminine, what is going on with the two. Um, I have, uh, this is my third video about this topic. I have two additional videos, which I have done uh, not so long ago, like several months. Here, um, I'll be putting the link of the first one. And now I'll be putting here the link of the second one. Also, I think that I'm, I'm going to uh, put them down. So, um, before we move to the uh, pick a pile or uh, pick a card, firstly, I just have to say that um, I have my own Instagram channel when I post pick a cards, uh, wisdom, knowledges, and such stuff. And also, I have my own uh, PayPal uh, um, account. I'll be leaving uh, the link. Uh, down below for those of you who would like uh, to tip me um, you are not obliged but I will be um, very helpful and this will always um, and this will also motivate me to do even more videos like this so now that being said um, down in the description box I have written for those of you who have never done a pick a card what to do and several advices so we have three piles this is pile number one which is beautiful and it's a new crystal, the strawberry quartz. I really I'm, I'm, I'm love it with the Gregory Scott Tarot. Also, I'll be putting the, the name of all the decks which I'll be using down below. Pile 2 with this beautiful um, rainbow uh, moral uh, uh, quartz with the um, medieval tarot. And Pile 3 with this beautiful um, a fluorite uh, mobilisk with the um, original Rider Waite Tarot. So, without any further ado, let's now start with pile number one. Well, um, welcome there pile one. This is going to be your reading for those of you who have chosen this beautiful um, strawberry quartz. Now, I'll be shuffling the deck. Also, I'll be using um, a sprint which um, with which um, I came up with the help of my uh, spiritual guides and uh, a dear friend of mine. So please, angel spirits, angels guides, help me connect with the energies of the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine of pile number one. And after the tarot, we'll be moving to the uh, Oracle cards and some additional on advices. Okay, now the current um, energy um, of the reader, we have the Seven of Swords. I just heard like sneaking and spying. Okay, I'll be doing like here, I think, if we have enough room. Your Twin Flames current um, energy, we have the um, the devil. I just heard like um, fighting addictions. For what um, are you both sorry? The Five of Pentacles. Okay, this is getting interesting. The fourth card is what would your soul say to each other right now? We have the Justice card. 
Okay, things are coming. Number six is no, sorry, number five is what is the current a problem? The chariot. This you're not seeing them. Okay, like this. Okay. Number six, what you both want to happen in the future? We have the nine of cups. Number seven is what energies your energies towards um towards um each other. Okay. What are you on the twin? Now, where are you on the twin flame journey? We have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Are we putting it like this? And what is the karma on on each side? The star. Okay, this is um, interesting. So, okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so for you, how one? I get the impression that many of you are the recognition of the Divine Feminine. But also this can be um, reversed um, energy, so just pick it how it resonates. So, for you with the energy... <coughs> sorry, so we have... Four major arcana cards. We have one suit of swords, one suit of pentacles, one suit of wands and one suit of cups. So, in every um, aspect, so yeah. Your current energy, I'm hearing like spying, sneaking, trying to gather information, also hiding. I'm also getting, and, and, and I'm getting a really strong um, thing is that the majority of you are in separation mode and that you have um, detached yourself, but you are still like, um, in Bulgarian we say like uh, literally drawing an eye like uh, keeping like yeah keeping an eye on things what is happening with your divine mask like getting messages tarot dreams or this social media the divine masculine is right now okay um so yeah European flame but yeah the majority can be the divine masculine are fighting um, addictions and as you can see in the Gregory Scott tarot it's a bit um, a different with the um, illustrations so yeah we have here like um, scotch alcohol whiskey if your divine masculine has been using like alcohol smoking uh, doing other substances or you know like engaging in a lot of sex playing video games and such like as a coping mechanism to hide his feelings uh, towards you and such and trying to escape this thing because it um, has shocked them but I'm getting yeah I heard from spirit that they are succeeding and it's a very strong one so yeah for what are you both sorry here with the Five of Pentacles, I'm getting being influenced by like toxic people, like people who are trying to push you away from this journey, like dark energy, dark entities, um, also like money issues, not being fully independent, like providing for the other and the other way around, also childhood traumas. And not being able, like not being able, like not being healed on time, like I trust in the divine timing. But if you get me, now what you would your souls say to each other right now? That you want justice. 
Okay, I got in very strong singles. Uh, singles. One of the things is there must be a decent, a decent conversation between you two. Mm. That some of, like the majority of you may have like both of you, the both of you of the majority of you. Yeah, sorry, it's a song twist. It's a song twister. Like depending too much on. On your ego, what other were telling you, like yeah, with this um, a poison, being poisoned by your um, um, ego, like in the negative um, aspect of the ego, by people, by influence, even like because there are also toxic influencers and um, tarot readers. But yeah, but yeah, like yeah, don't listening to your own truth, your own heart. Believing in the truth you wanted to hear at the moment, but and not getting the whole picture. So, yeah, what is the current problem? Okay, the chariot is concern energy. Um, this is also about movement. Okay, one of the messages is that you're not moving fast. Like um, you're still not in union. You still haven't talked. For some of you, this may be about not balancing your shadow and your light side, your divine masculine and divine feminine. Like all of us, in like for me, for instance, I am a recognition of divine feminine energy, but even I have divine masculine and divine feminine inside of me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying that that if even if you do not see thing, uh, things moving in the treaty, that doesn't mean that 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 this is not happening and moving but the problem is that you both want to rush the process if possible like you both are yeah this is a thing from spirit you both are um longing for one and another so yeah um what do you both want to happen in the future the nine of cups you know your 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 manifestations happening, wish fulfillment, being together, celebrating with all the fireworks. I'm just hearing right now, baby, because baby, you're a fire, your work. And you know, Katy Perry's song, it might be significant, so go check it out in the lyrics. But yeah, like this woman who is pregnant, like your ideas, like your manifestations, you have seeded them, like you have planted it. And and yeah, I'm, I'm hearing that even if you both do not see it, like your manifestations are happening, they're coming into fruition. But you know, like with the normal human pregnancy, it's around nine months. It takes a long time, but after the end, it's worth it. You're like, you know, um, I know that sometimes it's very hard with all the waiting. Your energy is towards each other, the Ten of Wands. I'm hearing like completing very hard uh, karmic cycles like addictions, living third, third party situations like an ex, energies, toxic friendships, a new job, whatever the case is. But yeah, you both are working for this. Yeah, and for me, this is, yeah, I just noticed that the two boys or children, they for me, they're like the divine masculine, the divine feminine. You're also balancing your nevertheless about this. That the majority of you are balancing your energies and you're moving forward. For those of you who have cost you like a lot of energy, a lot of time to heal, to move on, like I'm sorry, but I feel you and I praise you. You're doing wonderfully. But yeah, the tense usually means a completion of a cycle towards your passion. Now, number eight, where are you on the twin flame journey? The three of pentacles, you're working together. I'm also getting like working with other friends or other twin flames, helping each other, delivering messages, um, sending the right things or working on yourself, maturing. Like I'm getting like spirit told me something like you are focusing on yourself, you know where you need to focus and what doesn't need your concern. like. Your manifestations are coming if you, okay, even if some days you feel like so um, that you have reached rock bottom, that nothing is happening, that there is a huge pause in your life, you you keep working. And I just heard like you are a fighter and you twin flame also, also you are mirroring 
on each other. So you both are, work, are working on yourself and this is happening. Okay, this is a very personal one, but I get that for some of you, you're not so worrying about the union because you know it's coming when the time is right, like Kairos, the divine timing. So what is the karma on each other's side? We have the star card, Aquarius energy. Okay, um, how to say it? One of the things I'm getting, not so much like a karma, but like, yeah, rushing your, your wish fulfillments. Yeah, like, yeah, your karma in this life was to be patient and to wait for the right moment because I have seen it with my twin flame in China around um, uh, the 700s. Like, we went into union quite early. I still haven't healed my partner. Uh, uh, also, and even though that we love each other, we knew what it was the truth, but not being able to heal each other on our own in rushing things, the connection was a bit like, like flighty, like bouncing. Um, we felt that yeah, we have we have we have rushed things. So this is yeah, just be patient. Also cleansing with water, like taking water baths and with water salts and such can be useful also going to the seaside. I don't know, I just got from spirit that mermaid movies are important, like The Little Mermaid or the Japanese Amanime Mermaid Melody. Okay, I'm getting that both of you, so take it however it is, both of you think like the other is like an enchantress or an enchanter like like with the siren you were each other like with sexual ascension and the intellect and you are pulling each other if you are not you know like uh, getting it so yeah okay before we move to the oracle cards yeah you're really pulling to towards each other you have worked very hard and spirit is praising you and you'll be rewarded and surprised very soon and yet even if well, by the time you're watching this video things aren't moving as you planned that doesn't mean that things are not aren't happening but yeah we live in the 3d so now let's see with the um oracle cards First, see the divine feminine. This is going to represent your current um, energy. We have the wolf with 66. You can check it out. You may have seen a lot of sixes. Verwandle, verwandle Wissen in Weisheit. Okay, I'm just going to see it um, later. Like um, transforming knowledge into wisdom, something like this. We also have. Um, effort with 34 this can be also be your um, physical age we have a uh, control I just thought like yeah you're fighting to control this situation and the amount um, come and your current energies yeah we have a happy family with number four and we have first chakra Archangel Michael the root chakra with 35 okay now for your partner we have um with number 14 um elephant Lena aus der Vergangenheit like yeah one from the past this is so wonderful <coughs> okay like this we have a mop and up wow we have also five a commitment oh this just struck me it's very hard like a strong feeling that your partner is probably you have dreamed or received messages like with Taro or yourself whatever the case is like that your partner is looking at an engagement rings we have also the angel of love oh my god such a wonderful um, energy is your partner in with 49 and we have journey Oh, this is also wonderful. Like this. 
Yeah, so the wolf and the elephant. Okay, I'm just go okay, I'm going to start with your partner. Um, it's not that your energy isn't so um, strong to read, but like, yeah. So your partner has definitely become wiser. If you still do not see it in the 3D, like still acting like goofy with his, um, uh, yeah, with um, their female or male friends, like superficial and acting dumb and such, that doesn't mean that they have changed from the inside and know what is the truth. And I'm also getting a very strong feeling and goosebumps on my back that your person knows about you. Your person, your other twin knows that you are their twin flame and they want you and they love you. And I'm getting so emotional. But yeah, up, um, up recently, like the several months, weeks, they have been um, opening up. Also with their heart chakra, especially with the help with um, the angel of love. They're opening their heart again, healing their past wounds and they are taking on a adventure like moving moving towards you like they are carrying the light and for me this um lamp here it's you like they are moving and they have the other light also this is about me represents the hermit in the in tarot and like they are um slowly but steady um exiting the hermit mode but yeah commitment they want something serious about you they are loyal and they want to be loyal so yeah taking okay this is like what spirit is showing me this is this is a very personal one so take it how it resonates even if you enter union like you have you have the talk of the talks and decide to be together like one month after or the next week or the next day your partner may say please marry me um, maybe we wanted to take things slowly, but now we want to move up ahead, whatever the case is. But yeah, it's your choice, just listen to your heart. But yeah, the, the wolf spirit. I'm getting that for some of you have learned to spend time alone, finding your own truth, like your own wisdom. Finding your truth, um, soul family, the people who love you and support you. Also the one who knows about this relationship on your fellow twin flames and are getting really hot waves. But yeah, you're becoming wiser. You're ready to put in the effort, but mostly you have put the effort into watering your own garden, yourself, self-love, releasing all the control. And yeah, this is a very personal message, but for those of you who want to get kinky with your other flame do not worry like in the bedroom there will be some like control freaks things like 50 shades of gray so don't worry but yeah happy family this is coming into fruition your manifestations you know what you want and you're working towards it like yeah um yeah like energy you envision it you may be using uh vision boards or m manifesting it with uh, you, you know whatever the case is this also for me represents like the Ten of Cups in Tarot. And yeah, with first chakra Archangel Michael. Yeah, yeah, he's coming through. He's saying that he's helping you cut everything which is slowing you down, which like you and your partner, like um which is which isn't aligned with your true self, your truest de desires also helping you to ground yourself like to ground yourself to relax not to overburden your um thoughts and such with so many um negative vibes and thoughts and self-sabotaging beliefs yeah it's so funny because like yeah i just noticed like that the watering can is like watering the greenery in the world like yeah you are helping your divine masculine well, okay yeah divine masculine yeah sorry so take it how it resonates like i told you you are watering with your love caring for yourself envisioning being wiser trusting the process and this is also helping your partner this is all nice 
Okay, for some of you, your partner may be big like muscled or buckled up or a bit chubby. But whenever the case is that, like, yeah, you really love their body and because you feel the spiritual connection because you're like, yeah, in reality, the wolf is smaller than the elephant. <coughs> the elephant is bigger, stronger than the wolf, like how we perceive divine masculine energy. But it doesn't mean that the Divine Feminine and the Wolf are small, like you both have your own parts to play. So now, so now some additional messages from Spirit. But yeah, I'm hearing, yeah, trust the process, trust the Divine Timing, do not worry, everything is coming into fruition. So now additional advices for you and your flame. If they are watching the video, Also, some of the energy I forgot to say, maybe um, it may be about both of you, if you get me. So, pick whatever it um, resonates. So, this spirit, three advices for my love is from card number one. Okay, we have two. We have first card to moon in Virgo with the um, 12th chakra. Assess the situation. Okay. We have also first quarter moon in Scorpio with the sacral chakra. Release your blocks. Exactly. Meditate, relax. Scorpio and Virgo energy. This may be your signs or their signs. Like moon, sun rising or Venus. For some I'm getting also their um, Lilith sign. I have Lilith sign. Dark moon Lilith. And we have last quarter moon in Cancer. Take a breather. Like, yeah. Uh, take a breather, relax. It is happening. You are um, purging, you are healing, you are releasing the things which are happening. Also with this beautiful cover, this is all about like healing. Okay, just like this, you know, like healing, um, opening your throat chakra, like, you know, speaking, being authentically you, being brave enough by working. Nevertheless, if this is the solar plexus chakra, like working on yourself, it's very nice. So, any additional messages? Okay, this is what I have for you, pile number one. Thank you so much for watching this this um, reading. My name was Martin Lokevion. I had the pleasure of being your personal writing reader for today. If the messages resonate, please give me a like, subscribe, comment down below, and share this video for many future videos like this. I wish you all the best of work on your twin flame journey and do not forget that um, I love you, love yourself and until next time. Bye bye. Well, well, um, well um, a welcome there, pile 2. This is going to be your reading for those of you who have chosen this beautiful um, rainbow um, or a quartz. Now to, think, now to think of it, some of you, you may be part of the LGBTQ uh, a community and this can also be putting some you know like frustrations on your queen flame journey so now i'll be using a special spread of mine about twin flames then we'll be moving to the oracle cards and some um additional um advices from spirit these archangels ascended masters deities Help me channel today's message. Oh, sorry. Up. Sorry, I didn't see this card. Okay, now one moment to zoom out a bit. Okay, so. The first one is your current energy. Also, I forgot to say, usually the readers, like your current energy, like of the reader is the Divine Feminine who are watching about their Divine Masculine. 
Also, this can be vice versa, or if you notice that you both, like you resonate with both piles, this is yeah, because you are mirroring each other. So take whatever, how it uh, resonates. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this is your current energy. Their current energy, the judgment. Okay, a major arcana. For what are you both sorry? The Six of Pentacles. Here is a bit different. Um, what would your soul say to each other right now? The Queen of Cups. Yeah, I just heard something like Interten um, internally yours, internal love. Okay. What do you both want to happen in the future? Number five. Okay. We have the Ace of Swords. Like, yeah, a new start, communication, being authentically you. No more a BS and Boulder Dash. Okay. What is the current problem? No, wait. Um, the Five of Swords, but why should I? Okay, they're telling me to... Um, I'll reverse the cards. Okay, the current problem is the like five, the five of swords. Like yeah, feeling the villain that you are not enough. Yeah, your energies towards each other. The seven of cups. Like I'm hearing that I have so many choices, but I want to choose you. Where are you on the twin flame journey? We have the two of pens or the two of pentacles, like balancing yourselves, your body and mind. Finding this um equilibrium. What is the karma on each side? We have uh, the lovers. Okay. <clears throat> What's like this? Okay. So Your energy with the Queen of Pentacles, like being in your abundance, being in your throne. Also, as I'm seeing two queens, even if you count like, yeah, the lady in the um, lover's card. I'm hearing like healed divine feminine energy, like on both sides. Like if you haven't noticed, um, even like for me, I'm a recognition of divine feminine energy, but even I have divine masculine and divine f feminine, we all have it. So yeah, you're working on your abundance, your wealth, waiting patiently, looking at yourself. Um, I'm also getting like strong uh, Taurus energy. Like I forget that the, 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 that the coins are earth signs, the cups are... Um, Water signs and the knives are air signs. This is also Gemini. Yeah, Gemini, and I forgot the the judgment card. What is? So yeah, um, Taurus energy. Looking at yourself, eating healthier, going to the gym, balancing yourself, meditating, trying not to think of the outcome. While your partner, they're ready for a new. A renew or they are or recently they have been renewed or passing darkest night of the soul like opening to the truth like with here with the naked people it's like that they know that they cannot hide anymore that everyone that everybody can see how naked they are how transparent they are Especially if they are part of the LGBTQ and if you are aware what you want and you're not afraid of your sexuality that your partner must be getting there and vice versa. So for what are you both sorry with the six of pentacles? What I'm getting here is that not working enough towards each other. Like this may not be the case, like you, you may have put a lot of effort working towards but both of you, you feel like sorry for not being able or when you meet and have a talk like a technical real talk um i'm getting that for the majority of you you still haven't talked 
only a little part of you. <laughs> okay, a woman because I'm chaining. Like, no, the majority of you are in separation mode and you still have no contact, no talking. Even if you spy on each other's medias or you see at work, whatever the case is. But what I'm getting, not being generous enough. I don't know why spirit is making like giving gifts to gift gift to each other or you wanted to get your partner the the most expensive gift. I don't know, but for some people I'm getting this really strong desire like not being able to provide or have enough finances. But yeah, what would your soul say to each other right now? The Queen of Cups? Yeah, a Scorpio energy. That you're healing. That you're more calm. You are aware of those feelings. You cannot escape those feelings. You're eager to drink of the cup of love from the other, something like this. But yeah, you're not like with the main energy, like chasing and being like, ah, oh, I need to do it, I need to do it like this. Like you want this to happen, this reunion, but you're taking your time, like being slow, but steady. You're sitting on your throne, enjoying life. Also spirit is commanding for those of you who have learned the importance of self-love, everything. I uh, congratulations also from me. For those of you who have, okay, not completely mastered, but if you get me, that things are moving faster for your, uh, for your couple. But yeah, what is the current problem? With a five of swords, delusions. Okay, this is a bit funny, like not funny, um, like I'm not uh, bother dashing nobody, but I'm getting that this may be your case or your partner you may have had some frustration or moments like I'm enough with this I want to get out of the twin flame journey I don't want to do this anything blah, 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 whatever the case is and the angels your guardian angels and the universe are saying no you cannot escape this journey this is what your souls wanted go back in line young man or young lady and yeah maybe some of you are getting to some of them are giving you like dreams that you are being whipped or that they are whipping you or if you feel that somebody has kicked you and there is nobody there like uh, get on track boy if you get me so yeah um but mostly like yeah self-doubt that things aren't happening things are slowly that this is all an imagination there is no such things as uh, uh twin flames that this is not happening, those dreams aren't you and whatever. So yeah, what do you both want to happen in the future? Like I told you, days of sorts. Like what I was channeling, a new beginning. Okay, for some of you, this may be the current problem that wanting this to happen faster, but there is divine timing, so you need to trust it. Also, for some of you, I'm getting that you must put your thoughts into order, like not having chaotic thoughts. And trying to be more, uh, how to say it, like reasonable, like if you get crazy emotions from your partner, like your flame, or you see them doing something which triggers you and something, not to say, oh, I hate him or I hate her, what is my partner doing like this, I don't love him, uh, you know, be cautious, okay, like, for instance, a positive outcome would be, oh, he's so annoying me. Uh, I need time. I need some time to heal. I know that my things, feelings are real. I love my partner, my flame, my twin. But yeah, he act or she acted like this, so I need some time to heal and such. But I'm not getting away from the, you know, as an example. So yeah, um, your energies towards each other. The Seven of Cups here is depicted by working, like doing art and something. But yeah, you may have many choices, but even like both of you, if you are scared of like being jealous or scared that your partner is going to leave you for another karmic and such. Um, for very little of you, this may be possible, like desires, if your partner or you haven't healed from this, like past energies. 
but your true greatest desire is to be with your only with your with your flame like with your twin so you may be um, a, a little bit like in the hermit mode like doing arts and crafts spending time alone concentrating yourself you know so what are you bought on the twin and journey like I told you balancing your energies your thoughts your minds your actions trying to uh, your actions to be in alignment with your words and such being authentically you and true to yourself and balancing and yeah, reaching this balance between the divine masculine and the divine feminine and what is the karma on each other's side for me here like if you still haven't healed from past relationships or a third party situation um, being overly attached okay what am but okay one moment like karma okay I'm not getting like karma per se but something like yeah your past fears from past lives you may do regression and search to find or ask yourself or meditate some of your past karma experiences or why is this happening what do you need still to learn to let off and such ah okay what i'm getting right now and with spirits some of you you may have blocked your connection to your guides or not listening to your guides or you um, if you want divine support for this to happen like you can ask your guides please help my flame to move on me like to move on on our relationships to be together but i'm getting like yeah the majority of you want to have a romantic family connection not only like friends or working together yeah or not trusting the divine or the divine timing being eager you know so i just noticed at the camera that this was 1414 so you can use your search engines and find it it's a angel number so okay <clears throat> now your current energies and what so divine feminine this is what is representing the divine feminine we have the schmetterling the look is at fashion yeah transformation is something wonderful 51 this may be an important number life part six this equals six venus energy also this year is the year of venus like uh 2022 so yeah we have the schmetterling we have uh, gifts. I'm getting that you may be self-indulgent recently, like getting your gifts, celebrating your victories. This is a very good thing, and I'm getting this strong feeling that spirit is sending you. Yes, good one. And patience, like yeah, you are worrying about patience, or you, you are doing the patient. You know to be patient, but whatever the case is, that patience is important. Okay. We also have door to personal healing and happiness, like yeah, healing yourself, happiness, thinking happy thoughts, rainbows and such, another rainbow, so yeah, the majority can be of the, um, represent, uh, representing the LGBTQ, and the thinking woman, yeah, yeah, thinking wiser, being in your healthy feminine energy, your queen energy, thinking, not overthinking, so 47, 7, 36, 34, your partner is the cool, the cow, with 34. Wunden sind keine Grenzen gesetzen. Like, yeah, miracles, uh, like, miracles have no uh, borders. So, yeah, this is happening, your divine love. Coming together with your twin flame, you have to believe this. Yeah, security. Okay, I'm getting ceremonies like, your partner is still a bit, like, closed and secured. Like they have their woe and ego but what i got strongly is that they want to be secure with you like with you they feel secure whenever it's they want to be in the physical but like energetically they feel secure and spying yeah divine masculine maybe you may be spying you and vice versa if you are the divine masculine we also have goddess of the moon like yeah getting in touch with their divine feminine energy healing letting those emotions 
like feeling those emotions and such. We have 51 and 52. Also working with the moon, meditations, and we have angel of strength. Yeah, the, with 50, the angel of strength is helping them. Also Leo energy, like being courageous and strong and working towards this uh, happy end. You know, like with yourself. Yeah, with the cow energy, they are mostly like grounding their grounding themselves, experiencing nature. They may be spending time in nature more of recently, like alone, spying your social media, or giving you signs, or they may be sending you a text message soon or something. But yeah, what I'm getting like strongly again, mostly that they feel you, they feel secure with you, whatever the case is, even if you are in separation mode. And that you're going to protect their hearts. And that you're you are like like yeah, protecting their heart like a neck from uh, Fabergé. But yeah, they're receiving strength to be courageous, to reach out to you, fighting their addictions, karma, ego and such, warring their uh, woe and such. Uh, you know, like uh, yeah. The goddess of the moon being more open to their emotions, what they're feeling, their divine feminine energy, um, being like healed in a happy, happy place, and this is also towards you, being wise. You are receiving like help and guidance to heal yourself, to be happy, even if you are not together, like giving yourself gifts, or maybe you are preparing for gifts. So if you are preparing, like if the divine feminine is preparing. A gift for divine masculine. Your partner, like the divine masculine, is going to to adore the gift and vice versa. So do not worry. Even if you give them like bubble gum, it may seem stupid. They may be a bit disappointed, but they may not show you right away or tell you. But oh, you give me, my partner gave me bubble gum. I'm going to treasure this bubble gum. I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to put it in a frame and such or in my vault in my safe because it's from the love of my life and it's sincere and you get me but you're working on your patience and waiting peacefully and many of the divine families may be passing through another transformation like blossoming like a beautiful butterfly and i just got like this butterfly can like spirit showed me an inch of the butterfly um landing on the third eye chakra of the cow so like yeah you're opening you're having to open their third eye chakra is what i'm getting and that without you they they would have been lost like getting into a really nice um not a very nice place and such like i'm hearing like yeah divine feminists you are being noticed you're being valued you're also by your partner okay i'm getting like 50 that your partner knows that you are their flame and such others will be receiving this knowledge soon some of them may have felt scary if they are not familiar with the whole experience but like nevertheless they hire their that your like the divine masculine higher self want to let you know that um they appreciate this a connection even if in, at the moment they are scared and not telling you this when they like yeah experience it in the 3d and being more open such so now further advices from spirit such a wonderful energy like your both are maturing getting grounded working on yourself your manifestations and this is what also is um healing yourselves your karma your attachments is um like making things shift or slide and like yeah uh what like something like shifting the ties but like yeah helping the reunion think it through new moon in gemini so think it through like what is keeping you at bay what energies you need to surrender what do you want to say to your partner and vice versa when there is an authentical maybe you want to apologize and vice versa or like you can also like uh, manifest how your partner is going to reach you gift you know whatever the case is and this is also going to help them because they'll be pursuing this subconsciously like how to act towards you how to make you happy okay 
we have stripper. Okay, we have full moon in Scorpio. Breathe through the tension, like yeah, if the connection is getting crazier, feeling emotions, like be through it. Go to the pond, heal yourself with water. Also, Gemini and Scorpio, maybe your signs. Okay, you have an additional card. Oh, sorry. Okay, we have Pisces attuned to the, the divine you pull in Pisces like yeah like yeah with the lover's card like trust the divine ask your guides for help the universe for this process like to heal things to happen and also we have first quarter moon in Aries step into your power like yeah step into your power but I'm getting that you're already doing this and this is like keep doing the good job with the solar plexus chakra into your power, be able to speak, not to hide, to show your true emotions and with to your partner. So Gemini, Scorpio, Aries and Pisces. Okay, anything else? Yeah, keep doing the good job. Things are moving, things are happening. But yeah, do not block yourself from the divine or your partner. Even if you are angry sometimes at the universe and the... Uh, if your partner, your, your flame, I can relate to that, I understand you, so Pound number two, this is going to be your reading, I'm going to leave it right here My name was Martin Lokeviant, I had the pleasure of being your personal writing reader to, for today If the message resonated, please give me a like, um, subscribe, or comment down below and share this video for many future videos like this I wish you all the best of luck to on your twin flame journey also don't forget that um i love you love yourself and until next time bye bye well, welcome there pile three this is going to be your reading for those of you who have chosen the rider weight tar with this beautiful um fluoride crystal so now firstly i'm going to be using a special spread of mine with the tarot then we'll be moving to the um sorry one moment to the um, oracle cards and some uh, additional advices from spirit like to help with the connection so archangel deities god jesus christ Allah, like Jehovah, please help me today to channel the messages for for pile numbers three person and themselves that flame that twin flame okay So, your current um, energy, wait, I'm going to zoom out, okay. The Knight of Pentacles. Um, um, alternate. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say that usually who are watching those videos are the, the Divine Feminines. There may be some Divine Masculines and usually yeah, this part, like your current energy, is the divine feminine. But nevertheless, um, so pick it how it resonates, or you may be the divine masculine. So yeah, uh, just pick whatever um, and how it resonates. Also, it's possible that you'll be mirroring each other's energies. So keep that in mind as well. So your your flame's current energy, the two of pentacles. Okay, with um. Earth elements, for what are you both sorry? Death. I'm hearing like maybe that you have struggled about this connection, not be able to start Scorpio energy to start again or fighting your feelings and the connection and your pulling towards each other. So yeah, um, what would you so say to each other right now? The Page of Swords. I want a clear and nice uh, talk. I want to talk to you and maybe I am spying on you and asking other people about you. Yeah, and also I'm sorry that, yeah, we have two courses. Okay, sorry, I'm just going to say because I'm channeling right now. 
the black and the white horse it's like you're balancing yourself and this is victory like working together things are coming into fruition you're being reborn also because the night of the night of pentacles is usually slower than the other nights but yeah you're moving slowly but steady but you are going to arrive at your destination another two like so many foods and we may be seeing 11 11 quite a lot things are moving is what i'm trying to say so do not worry so five what is the current problem the seven of wands fire signs like yeah still fighting yourself thinking that you have to compare to other people fighting for this connection feeling that your partner wants want you to fight non-stop for them what you both want to happen in the future we have the knight of wands like yeah another knight movement expressing your passion your feelings or wanting your partner to move in or vice versa or moving together or traveling like or traveling if you f live in different cities or states or continents countries yeah, your energies towards each other the five of swords like yeah, i'm also getting a really strong feeling that the majority of you like the other pals that you are the majority of you are in separation mode but with the fight of swords you're taking rest you're resting you have felt tired or you have detached yourself from your partner not knowing what they're feeling or what they're doing like resting or because like with me during the eclipse we passed the eclipse in taurus like i was a bit cut from my partner's emotions and connection and such but this is now passing okay um what are you where are you on the twin flame journey we have the two of swords like yeah wanting to work to, to, together being together again with the two so many tools like yeah even if you reduce up reduce the four it equals to like working together getting the truth about your flame like accepting reality um reality and wishing wishful that is what i think what is their karma what is the karma on each side we have the ace of wands okay what i'm getting with the ace of wands mostly that you both weren't yeah when i was going to say working and we have the eight of pentacles at the back that both of you you are not um working on your arts crafts or projects your passions you need to follow your passion like for some of you changing your job like fighting a dream job or you want to relocate next to your flame or to start working with them at their job at their firm whatever the case is or being a part of their um um team i'm getting that they'll be really really happy even if they act like in the 3d or uh, like with the facade and they go like i don't want to hear what what you're doing what you're stalking me place your soul grows and such whatever the case is but nevertheless they, they deeply would be happy to see you working together and sync you you every day okay sometimes the energy may be overwhelming but we all know this but yeah, what I'm getting is that you both are heading to a new beginning with the Ace of Wands, like passionate. So yeah, the, your current energy or the Divine Feminine, like I told you, moving steady and slowly but steady. You may be wanting to offer like an apology or something to your flame, like your twin, um, apologizing for your bother dash behavior, dreadful behavior, being honest, being authentic about it. Your flame are, is working on balancing themselves, like their body, mind, emotions, everything. Maybe this is also about their 3D life, you know, like finances, fighting the balance. Can touch? But yeah, I just noticed, like, your spirit is taught me just, like, yeah, with the eternity symbol like eight here in this card like your love is internal do not worry you are always going to be connected like yeah like this never ending loop looping rope 
I don't know, but I just got that uh, jumping jacks may be important. Like, yeah, eternal, unbreakable, do not worry. But yeah, with the C, like the... Um, how to say it in English? In Bulgarian we say... Burnumure. Uh, uh, Burnumure, uh, like... Um, very wild sea, you know, like a crazy sea, like in a storm. And this is like, yeah, with your emotions and this relationship, if you get me. But yeah, fighting, you're sorry for fighting the change, fighting your um, synchronicities, what your guys have been telling you, what was happening, not being uh, transformed fast enough, if you get me, like both of you. And also like, yeah, uh, with the seven of wands, like still fighting yourself, your partner, those feelings, or what, or for some of you, like what others are telling you, like this is not real, um, this is not true love, this is balderdash, you're hurting yourself, just leave him, leave her, whatever the case is, you know, this is the, um, your energies towards each other, or still fighting this. And I'm getting like, I just heard from spirit and this is very personal, like if you just let things like go with the flow, stop fighting yourself, stop fighting your flames, stop fighting the universe and things will flow magically, transformation, balancing and such. Because if you're struggling with this, this also may reflect to your twin and vice versa. So balance is very key like the two of you working together this is a very key moment so you, you can have this um, authentic talk to yourself and if you're not resting like you need to rest your mind ground yourself your thoughts yeah I'm getting I got like from spirit that when you meet your flame like for your union you must be recharged and renewed and relaxed like yeah do not let your negative emotions or if you are fire sign your passion itself to be like self-sabotaging like twigger if you get me and I, like yeah with those two nights like you are like yeah you are mirroring each other you are looking at each other but nevertheless that's all come out but a new review is coming like a new cycle following your passions i'm getting that both of you, you you have opened your artistic side like this may be poetry drawing painting writing um creating video games or gardening cooking baking whatever the case is um whenever your talent is or if like you're getting insights to start a new hobby which is going to be connected with your divine mission and whatsoever you're you're beginning and I'm also getting that even if you do not feel it that you are giving each other a chance like a new beginning like you want yeah wants and swords yeah you are fighters but you mustn't fight this connection and yourself or your partner you must be working together and fighting everything which isn't in alignment like releasing third prices third party situations, karmic relationships, negative people, dark entities, healing yourself, protecting yourself, asking the divine for help. But yeah, do not worry, do not stress. After all, yeah, this is a very personal message before we move to the oracle cards, like the universe is mirroring also what you want. So if you want to be together with your partner and have a clear communication, okay, I know for some like I personally know that some days it's very hard uh, you know some days you're so tired and mm, tired of the bother the dreadful behavior in the treaty of your uh, of your twin like not making an effort or hiding or I know about your feelings but why aren't you making a move you know it's absolutely okay but Try to have like clear emotions, like what do you want to happen with your twin and such and believe in the most wonderful and great outcome. Like do not concentrate, concentrate on the outcome, but you may be putting your energies and love towards it, if you get me. So firstly, the divine feminine energy, so pick it how it resonates, is represented by the 
Bei der Büffel, der Buffalo, das Universum sorgt für dich. Like, yeah, what I was telling you about, seriously. The universe is looking out um, after you. Some of you, you may be Native Americans or connected with Native America, or you have been a Native American in the past, like shamans and such, your ancestors, spirit guides. We also have seven, so your life path number or important number. Seven is also about magic working together. But yeah, the universe has your back. You also have called yeah, codependence. So maybe you need to be like with 32, like fighting those codependency issues, like not feeling the bit to be abandoned and spending some time alone, like. I have been there, but being overly caught dependent isn't helping this situation. Also, your flame. Also, for some of you, if you like the divine feminists are who are frustrated with their like, masculine, like being still called dependent, like do not worry, things are shifting. Even if you see like in a Twitter that there's still, you know, heartbreak. Yeah. Okay. You are feeling like your heart being hurt again, but you must release yeah, all the things and fears which are keeping you for not moving. Yeah, and yeah, with this wonderful pink and purple colors that you must love yourself, you must be your best friends. Yeah, envy. Do not be a envious. Like if your flame is having much. Um, success the new and or in a as you see like for this for, for instance this, this is an example you see that your flame is in a happy relationship um that doesn't mean like internally they are they are happy and content with their yeah six chakra archangel metatron like yeah opening your third eye seeing the bigger picture okay the divine masculine we have the delphine a dolphin, dolphin with 11, which equals to also you may have seen a, a lot of um, 11, 11 recently. Es gibt nur, es gibt nicht nur eine Wahrheit. There is, yeah, there isn't one truth. Like, you see your truth, your partner sees another truth, everything. So, they must be talking, like, yeah, why is this happening and such? Are you feeling this? And I'm going crazy. You still have guarded, yeah, like, yeah. You being in this fears of codependency, heartbreak and envy may trigger your partner to be guarded. And yeah, true love. But never the yeah, nevertheless your the divine masculine is experiencing true love. He or she is getting to know what is true love, yeah. Victory. They want to win, baby. They want to fight for you and they well, and they, they will be courageous, okay, 21. And the temple path, like, yeah, divine help, divine guiding, so, yeah. Okay, 12, 40, 43, 3, 10, 11, 28, 20, 32. Yeah, so, yeah, um, <clears throat> sorry, one moment like this. Just to, yeah, yeah. Okay, even like, yeah, if you're farting yourself and having those fears, like, spirit is telling you, uh, release them because it's not helping you, not you, not your frame. But nevertheless, if you see it or not, and what your twin is getting, like, divine help, also Archangel Metatron, so you can pray and ask for his guidance to let you see things from a, another perspective, to have a clairvoyance about this, what is happening, what is hidden. But yeah, with this buffer energy for the Divine Feminists, you may be still stubborn, feeling heartbreak, codependency, being envious. But the Divine Masculines, they're, they're becoming more free. Like... I'm sorry, I'm just trying. Yeah, like a dolphin spirit, like swimming. They may be guarded. But the more they step in into this true love, and if you are ref reflecting this um, connection with love, trusting the process, 
and having trust in them, being loyal, this can also be helping them. But nevertheless, they want to be victorious. Their higher self is also working with them. Their higher self, they're going to the temple path, like they are being led to this wonderful place. <laughs> Anything else before we move to the additional advices from spirit? Heart, heart, true love, heartbreak. <coughs> so yeah, sometimes like true love can hurt like Love is pain, if you get me. Uh, especially with this connection, I felt it, but yeah. So yeah, there isn't love without pain, but yeah, um, the harder love, like the one hard to get, like the true love, the path to it is like, yeah, filled with heartbreaks and so much purging and cleaning our ex, facing the music, if you get me. But do not worry, the universe has your back and also your person. Your person is also seeing that not only about you, that what they perceived as a true may be true to them for themselves, but also that what you perceive is also truth, like getting the both sides of the story. And like judging but not being judg judgmental, if you get me what I'm getting, but yeah, victory. This is going to be, this recipe is going to be victorious over the, uh, the envy. Victory, then the envy. So don't worry, but yeah, the longer you are fighting this, Divine Feminines, the longer you're going to postpone the process. And even if your flame is, your Divine Masculine is ready to propose to you, if he feels like your energy that you're being guarded with heartbreak and codependency or if you haven't cleansed your energy from past karmic relationships and such because even if you have ended the physical relationships their energy may be still worrying around you and your partner may feel it and think that you're still together or thinking about them so keeping that in mind go with the flow relax stop fighting so yeah, stop fighting, which doesn't need to be fought over, if you get me so okay, this spirit. Three advices for, okay, we have two, for um, my love is from pound number three, one additional advice. Okay, should I pick them? Okay, we have, you, you got, okay, but we have three. Should I use all of them? Okay, you have five cards. I didn't notice it. <laughs> so, okay, we have New Moon in Libra. Know you are loved, like, yeah, by the universe, your twin flame. What I was talking about, what I was talking about all this time, y'all. Also, the star signs which you see here, like the zodiacal signs, this can be your or their zodiacal signs. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus signs, yeah. Know that you're loved by the angels, the universe. Also, last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the to the details, like yeah, the truth. Not only what you're perceiving, like meditate, try to see the bigger picture. That's what I'm getting also. New money Capricorn, step up and lead, like yeah, step up and for you, divine feminines, show the way, or the divine masculine, show the way what your twin must be doing. Their emotions and such, following the path, release your blocks. First court of moon in Scorpio. I think that we had this in the first pile, if you feel drawn. Yeah, with the sacral chakra, re release your blocks, your your toxic way of thinking. And full moon in Aquarius, be you like, yeah, be real with yourself, what you want, your partner. You both have to be real, so you can achieve this physical balance also. Okay, such a wonderful, so yeah, know your loved, attend to the details, step up and lead, be real, release your blocks, Libra, Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius and Capricorn. So okay, this is everything I think, ah yeah, you are loved, I just received it from your, f from your flame, the universe, ancient angels, spirit guides, ancestors, deities, your loved. So okay, pound number three, I'm going to leave your reading right here. My name is Martin Leclevion. I had the pleasure of being your personal guide and reader for today. 
If the message resonated, please give me a like, comment down below, subscribe and share this video for many future videos like this. Also, I'm wishing you all the best of good luck with your twin flame on this wonderful and sometimes crazy, overwhelming, beautiful, loving journey of ascension and self-discovery. So don't forget that um, I love you, love yourself and until next time, bye bye.